Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be showing you these Her Given Hair Clip-In Extensions for natural hair. I'm gonna be showing you what's inside the box, how I install these, and how I blended them with my own natural hair. So let's get started. So this is the box that it came in, and then when you open it, it was all nice and secure in its different packages. I went ahead and ordered the 20 inch curly hair clip-ins which weigh about 100 grams and I also ordered an 18 inch so that I can mix it up in my hair. It also came with a sample pack of hair, it came with a scarf that you could tie your hair down at night, and it also came with basically an instruction manual that helps you to take care of the hair, the daily maintenance, how to wash it, and just tips and tricks that you can use for the hair. Now at first I wasn't sure which hair type to get for my hair, but I kind of took a guess. But if you want to be like a little bit more certain which one is going to be similar to your hair type, they do have samples that you can order online first before you order the actual hair. And as you can see, they have curly, coily, and kinky hair. And after you finger comb it out a little bit, you can get a better idea of how it's gonna match your own natural hair. So I decided to go with the curly texture in an 18 inch and a 20 inch set. And it came with a lot of clip-ins and I didn't even use like all of them that they came with. It also came with some extra clips in case you break a couple of them, you have a backup. So I recently colored my own hair in the front a red color and this is the color that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead and dye the extensions, just a couple of them so that I could put those in front so it can match my own hair and it doesn't look weird. So I basically just follow the instructions on the box and then I wrapped it in foil so that I could make sure that it did process completely. After that, I went ahead and co-washed the hair. I did not use the co-wash that it recommended in the book. I used my own deep conditioner, which can double as a co-wash, and it ended up making the hair very soft, and it was very easy to detangle. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I install the hair and how I blended it with my own hair. My hair is co-washed in this, and it is it is damp. It's not soaking wet, but it is a little bit damp, and I already applied my leave-in to moisturize it. So now I'm just gonna take the clip-in extensions, and I've already used them before, so that's why they look like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-moisturize them. I'm gonna add some water, and then I'm gonna add my leave-in conditioner, and I'm gonna apply a good size amount to it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle the hair. And I love doing this part because this is how you see how the hair really looks. Now it, it's starting to look more natural, more like our natural hair. So I just combed it out as much as possible until it looked basically like my own hair. And just so you can see, this is how much shedded hair I got from detangling that one section. So it's not bad at all. And this is the hair after I combed it out and detangle it. And as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit more like our natural hair. Okay, now to install the hair, you can do this one of two ways. I did it where I kind of just intertwined it with my own natural hair. You can do it that way, or you can twist up your hair, twist up the extensions, and then apply it after it's all dry. But I'm just gonna show you this way. So I started off by detangling my own hair. I started from the back and I parted a section in the back. Now it does not have to be a perfect part at all. Since the hair is pretty much gonna cover the part, it really didn't matter that much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the clip in and you just wanna loosen it and then snap it into your hair close to your scalp and then snap it back down to secure it. Now I'm gonna show you how I you know, basically blended it with my own hair. This is not a twist out tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys you know, kind of an idea of how it blended together with my own hair. So I've already applied my leave-in and I've already moisturized my hair. I'm gonna seal it with my polished hair and scalp oil and it's gonna make it nice and shiny and smell really good. And then I'm just gonna proceed to twist my hair. This is not a tutorial like I said. So you, I'm just gonna show you how I twisted the hair, but you can style it however you want at this point. And you guys, I'll go ahead and leave all the links to all my products and to this hair in the description box below. So definitely check those links out. And now basically you're just gonna repeat those same steps. You're just gonna part a section of your hair, apply the clip in and go ahead and style your hair as desired. As you can see, I am just twisting my whole head up for a twist out look. Now I'm gonna add the hair to the front and as you can see the dye hair pretty much matches my own colored hair as well. So it blended perfectly and you just wanna go ahead and apply those clip ins all throughout the front of your hair, you know, everywhere where you want the clip-ins to be. And then of course you're gonna have some leave out on top to cover the clip-ins so you don't want any track showing, okay? So make sure you leave your own hair on top so that's not a problem. 
And I went ahead and let my hair air dry overnight and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it out the next morning. I'm gonna use a little bit more oil to prevent as much frizz as possible. And I'm just gonna continue taking it out and just blending it with my fingers so I cover all the tracks. And as you can see, it added a little bit more length and volume to my own natural hair, and it really just enhanced my hair just a little bit. So I am very pleased with these clip-ins, and I will use them whenever I just want a little bit extra volume in my hair. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like it, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.